Any ideas what you're watching here? Yes, you're right. It's Medea meets the Marvels. I'm kidding. It's Captain America's Silver War. You know, when Iron Man's going, pew, 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 pew. and Captain America's like, punch, 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 because I got no powers, punch. But do you understand why they're tussling with each other? No? Okay. New York. Washington, D.C. Sokovia. Okay, that's enough. Captain, people are afraid. So, we all know the Avengers and how their crazy amount of teamwork stop people. Though they get the job done, they leave this huge amount of death and destruction, and people get sick of it. Before they knew it, the government was forcing superheroes to register under their control. This Registration Act means the government can track all powered individuals who actively uses their powers. And to get to the sweet and simple point, Iron Man's like, heck yeah, why not? We kill people. And Captain America's like, no, I want to be free. I was frozen. But what if you were there during their missions? I'm leaving. Huh? What if I die? I'm be like, oh my god. I'm finna die today. But at least I got some stuff. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I need to leave. Seeing like a villain in this guy and a superhero. So it's like, ah, oh, like they're crashing in and stuff. People are dying. Like, I was sort of, I would not know how to feel about the superhero. Death is all around you. That's kind of like. Uh, more of a situation and like they they give you PTSD. Yeah. They better win. That's all I know. They heroes like fighting aliens. I'm joining them. Yeah, that's like every man for himself, for real. Cause you see it coming. Like you see somebody in the sky. Like get out the way. From now on, all superheroes will be forced to sign a hero registration act due to their recklessness and constant casualties. Nope, that's bad news. Are you that's good? bad news. That's not official. That's bad. Everybody screaming. No, no, that's God's gift to you. And sometimes I feel like the government doesn't have the best attentions. I doubt they'll listen. Like that's like telling Thor not to throw his hammer. He's gonna look at you like. How do you feel about the heroes? I think superheroes. Like I think sometimes superheroes use like their powers at the wrong time. If you have multiple powers, you don't need to use them all and destroy the world with all of them. Like use them sensible. You know. If you have strengths, then, you know, and you're fighting someone who doesn't have a lot of power, then all you have to do is use your strength. You don't have to use heat vision. You don't have to use all these other powers you have. You can just use one. If the superheroes are asked to intervene in some situation that they don't agree with, that it would just be serving, like, the government's ends. Um, or what if they want to go somewhere and the government says, no, they can't. How helpful is it really like if you're the end outcome yes somebody has their life but do they now have somewhere to stay villain itself that's what he wanted to do probably but the superheroes it's like you're here to like protect people and yet people are dying because of you so like are you really a superhero if you think about the spider-man movies he had to either save his girlfriend or save a, a cart full of people. And, you know, that's what, that, that's what brings up this idea of you are super powered, but there are limitations. Some, some uh, superheroes, they turn into villains, you feel me? Nothing's perfect, and a lot of the governments, they don't have people with abilities that the heroes have, so they might be doing it for a little, some selfish reasons as well. Dude, so, man, like, there could be somebody evil or corrupt or something. Corrupted, it's like, that's like turning Superman evil and putting him against the world, he's gonna win. Oh, most definitely. I mean, 9-11, for example. So, when you're at the airport, you have to go two to three hours before you get your flight because all of the security risk and all of that little simple things of like home items that you can carry, you can't take on a plane. So I feel like that takes away from you or somebody else's safety because somebody did not act. 
After 9-11, a lot of people sacrificed their freedoms in order to feel more secure. And it kind of goes against what our country is about in the first place. At least like, you know, Mike Brown and all that stuff. Like, like people putting like policemen on social media, I was like kind of hindering like the policemen's ability to do their job because like so much pressure with like them being recorded all the time. And like, I guess like the police, they were trying to get people to stop using social media. So that's like one way of the government trying to stop uh, a certain right. Team Iron Man. Team Captain. Team Captain all day. Team Iron Man. Team Captain. Team Iron Baby. Team Iron Man. Team Captain. Team Captain. Team Iron Man. Team Cap. Team Spider Man. I'm Team Captain. Team Cap. Team Iron Man. Team Cap. Team Iron. But man, they both. They both suck. Now for me? Hmm. I'm torn. Iron Man's working with the people, and Captain America standing for his freedom. What is this, X-Men? Actually, kind of is. Anyway, I'm just gonna say, Team... Everybody? Iron American Panther Spider-Man? Can we just smurge him? I like that one. Let's do that. Sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> your freedom because of some shooting bomb disaster. Disaster. Can y'all not watch me? Can y'all go somewhere? Yes, walk past. I know. No, I just don't like you. Captain. No. Team Iron. No. Team what? Team Spider Man. <laughs> I can see that. I'll, I'll stop you right here. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm Captain America. Why? What do you mean, why? First of all, he's young, he's fine. He's 100 years old.